So, there's a man by the name of a Wood Whisperer. See? And he's promoting something called Wood Workers Fighting Cancer, which is raising money for cancer research. Uh, and the project this year is a dog bowl riser, which, uh, seeing as I've got a 14-year-old Border Collie, seemed to resonate with me. Once I downloaded the plans, I realised I wanted to change them straight away. We only have one bowl in each room, and uh, I wanted to use materials that I already had. Uh, the version in the plan used hardwoods, um, but it's not like they grow on trees. And I wanted to use as much wood as I had laying around, such as this furniture board here. So I set about modifying the design in SketchUp, and uh, I made a little cussing list. <laughs> the next thing I did was to mark out all the parts on the boards, um, and this is where I made my first mistake. I knew I should probably cut and then measure, and cut and then measure, but I decided to cut everything out. I decided to measure everything up first. I tried to leave a gap, and then cut it all in one go, but that ended up with a, a set of mismatched parts. Which is a shame, because I love how the sides of the... Um, the sides of the legs looked with the, uh, the multiple grains, and uh, I was going to try and bookmatch them, but it wasn't to be. Oh well. So I headed off to my local B&Q to buy some timber. Probably the really bendy sort they sold cheap. But while I was there I remembered they actually sell stair parts, and uh, I thought the spindles of a staircase would be uh, perfect for the legs on this. Um, and I had ones made of hemlock, which I've never used before, so this seemed like the ideal opportunity. Also. The piece I picked had a perfectly straight grain, well not perfect, but a very straight grain and no knots, which uh, was going to look a lot better than pine. So I set about dividing up the leg using my ultra expensive cross, no, I just used a wooden mighty block and a handsaw. Then I, for some reason I got distracted by the top and decided to remove all the previous finish that was on there. I thought the skirt pieces were too small to put the curve in, uh, at least accurately by me. So I, uh, I, but I did want to go ahead with the uh, the taper on the legs to add a bit of extra finesse. I had considered grinding the material away by hand, but that would take ages. So in the end, I put my scroll saw through its paces. Now I'm not sure it's meant for wood this thick, although I have used it on guitar bodies before, and it, it seemed to do the job. After cutting off the sections to make the taper, I tried to sand it by hand, and then uh, that was taking ages, so I decided to invest in the, uh, the cheap belt sander that I've been eyeing up for ages, and this made, made quick work of it. Sadly, my arm is in the way in all this footage. So for the top, you need to cut out a circle, and I decided to do this using my router, and I found that if I put a dowel through the middle of the block, I could then insert a wooden wedge into the, uh, the straight edge guide on the router, and that seemed to work perfectly well. I only had a, a bearing bit to do it with, which seemed to do the job, but I probably could have used something else. Either way, it only bloody worked, so I was happy with that. So I proceeded to put the round over on the uh, top, except it wasn't the top, it was the bottom. I was a bit annoyed by that because I'd uh, chosen a nicer grain to go on the top, and uh, there were loads of dents on the bottom, but I managed to get rid of the dents using water. So I already had the Osmo finish out for this guitar here, so while I was doing that I decided to put it on the top of the table and uh, turned out really nicely. Next, the magnets to secure the bowl into the hole. Except the magnets I ordered were tiny and, well, it wouldn't really matter anyway because I've managed to cut the hole way too big, so I think they're holding it in, but I'm going to have to evaluate that later on. I started cutting holes to put the magnets in, but it was making a mess at the top, so I filled them in and then decided just to glue them on the surface. I don't own anything nearly as fancy as a domino jig for uh, cutting loose tenons or or even know how to make a tenon. Uh, so I decided to go with a uh, cheap plastic dowel jig I've got, which was actually fiddly because the way you angle it has to make contact with both sides of the wood and they're quite narrow, but I made it work in the end. And then I used uh, dowel points, the little metal things you can insert to uh, work out where to drill holes on the other side. Um, it ended up not being as easy as I hoped, but it worked out in the end. Then came the clamp up. I've got no footage of this, which is just as well because you don't want to see an angry man trying to <laughs> hold bits of wood together. Um, eventually I got it all together and it worked out fine. Um, and then I applied the finish, which was originally going to be some outdoor furniture paint that needed using up, but 
uh, that had just all dried up. So I used the walnut uh, Osmo finish that I had left over from the shelves. Um, it didn't look as good as I'd hoped, um, and it's really fiddly on such a small object. Um, perhaps I should have put the finish on before assembling it, but I was worried about getting it over where, where the glue will go. And whilst I'm not 100% happy with it, here is the the finished object. The, uh, I was pleased I got the tapered legs in, and uh, I like the contrast between the, the bottom and the top. Um, there are mistakes, um, I'll show, and I'll read some of them off here. Uh, I made mistakes. Mis no, no. I made mistakes cutting the parts at the start. Um, I didn't really remove enough of the varnish from the previous wood. The hole itself is pretty not very centered, uh, and it's too large. Um, I put the top on upside down. I bought the wrong magnets. One of the skirts. No, you can't see it. I. Uh, Put the round over on the wrong side and had to turn it around, but thankfully the top covers that. Uh, on one of the skirts, the dowels made it go in a really bad angle. Um, some of the glue cleanup's not very good. And there's some finger marks in the finish. I'm happy. As a learning project, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with the results, to be honest, despite all the less mistakes. Um, I hope it qualifies for the uh, the Woodworkers Cancer Fund. <laughs> Woodworkers Fighting Cancer. Um, but just in case it doesn't, I, I'll donate some money myself now. Yeah, I'll do that now. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to know more about the woodworkers fighting cancer, go to the Wood Whisperers page. I will put a link in it in the description down below. Um, yeah, that's good. Next up, if you're interested, I will be finishing off this guitar. With less clanging, I hope. Um, so yeah, if you want to stick around and watch that, please subscribe. Goodbye.